This project began when superfan Patrick wanted me to make him a Goonie Bird mask. If you call that civilized music, you can hit me in the mouth! Well, I found the fiberglass mold that we used to make them in, and I found a thick rubber plug that had been made in that mold. But I couldn't find a plaster mold anywhere. This project didn't have a budget that allowed for making a new plaster mold. I didn't have time to make one, and I didn't want to hire somebody to make one. After all, I'm just making one Goonie Bird mask from it. So I made two attempts to pull a mask straight from the fiberglass mold. This thing is a mess. I, I really don't think this is what Patrick wanted. Even though I really wanted to solve the puzzle as to how we used to make masks in fiberglass molds, it was becoming clear that I was just going to have to make a plaster mold off of this Goonie Bird plug or pay someone else to do it for me. And that's when this guy came into my life. This is huge. This is big. This is a big bargain. This is huge. Here on vacation and taking a tour of my building, Jeff told me he'd give up a day of his vacation and come in and make that plaster mold for me. He had a lot of confidence. He really believed in himself. But could he really do it? I will do that if you would, if you need it, okay? For free. For free. For free. Can I get a better deal? Seriously considering that. I think we're going to make a plaster mold of the Goonie Bird. Yeah. I think we're going to do that. We got to do that, yeah. I think we're going to do that. <gasps> yeah. I think we're going to do that. Yeah. But I've only m just met the guy. Yeah, so I this, don't know, he could we'll be, see as it keeps going on. This, we might not be friends he, at all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we this might this could completely fall apart. Hi, I'm at Creative Engineering in Orlando, and we're going to try to make a mold with Aaron Factor, the CEO of Creative Engineering. You don't want to stick your finger in here. Ooh. Or any other appendages. This looks like as good a job as anybody could do. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. And we'll find out if it works. So, Patrick, you may be getting your Goonie Bird mask after all. All right. Congratulations. Thank you. Now go wash your hands. Yeah, I'm saying. Wash. I have a gift for you for what you have done today. Oh wow. Yes. You may open your gift. <gasps> no, thank. I want to hug you, but I can't, can't because you're sick. Sick. Can't hug you. What? Oh God! Dude, I'm really so. Okay, let's just say something. Mm, okay. Mr. Vector is the best person in the world. If you disagree with me, you're wrong. Because here's the thing. I came here just to get a tour, and he let me make a mold because I told him I could do it. And now he's giving me like exactly what I. I thank you so much. Like I couldn't have a better experience. Well, me too. So you're wrong. <laughs> thank you so much. I'm gonna, can I, can I put fur on him? Sure. Sure, you can clean him up, paint him, fur him, you know, Perfect. turn him into a, a young bird again. It's gorgeous. I'm so happy. You Thank you so fill much. fill him with foam. That's what I was thinking. Maybe, we're just stuffing or something. Stuffing, stuffing Something yeah. to just keep mm -hmm. him. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, gosh. <laughs> and while we're bragging on Jeff, take a look at how he refurbished his birthday bird. It's gorgeous. It needed a home. Listen to the Goonie bird. She's an out-of-tune bird. You can always see her standing on one way. Though she is a scrappy bird, she's an unhappy bird. Cause she weighs three pounds and weighs a five pound age. I was feeling oh so merry. Till I passed a cemetery or a grave. A feller was a crying. Your mother? Ah, Lord, I 
says it's your brother. So it's another. Well then, please tell me who is the guy. Yeah, it's my wife's first husband. Why did you die? Let's do the Goonie bird. What a crazy Goonie bird. Flying backwards all around and back again. Oh, she has the bird's eye view. Never looks ahead, it's true. All she wants to see is where that she has been. Let's look at it. And put this back. Not bad. As far as perfection goes, well, I don't think there's any such thing as perfection in my life, but I think Patrick will be very happy to have the world's first Goonie Bird outside of the ones we made back in the 70s. And I want to again thank our good friend Jeff for coming in and making this mold for us. Uh, so that Patrick can have his Goonie Bird, as well as other people who might end up getting one of these masks from me. All's well that ends well. Cause she's a sitting on a poison ivy vine.